In past lessons in this series, I have frequently repeated a phrase that I think is important. God's moral law is intended for human flourishing. That is, God has set for his people certain limits to behavior, within which there is great freedom for living and thriving. These limits are intended for our flourishing. We know this to be true in nearly every area of life. If we live as if there are no limits, sooner or later we will run up against something that is detrimental, unhealthy, or harmful to us. For example, we don't drive as if there are no rules or guidelines. If we do, then we will end up crashing into something or someone else. We don't eat or drink as if there are no natural limits. We learn what the proper limits are and do well to stay within them. In all areas of life, sometimes we learn the proper limits from the wisdom of others who have gone before us. At other times, we learn those limits through the harsh personal experience of suffering consequences. To the untrained or the immature, limits seem to restrict our freedom. We think we are most free when we have no constraints. But I think of that freedom like the freedom of an astronaut floating outside of the ship in space. If he cuts that tether that holds him to the ship and restrains him, yes, he will be very free, but it probably won't end well. No, the limits we set to our food and drink, or limits regarding driving, provide boundaries that allow us to flourish. If we transgress those boundaries, we may feel free at first, but our, ironically, our freedom to flourish is restricted and we risk becoming enslaved. What is true in life generally is also true for Christian ethics. And what is true for Christian ethics is true for sexuality in particular. Through God's word and through the long history of Christian experience and through the even longer history of human participation in nature and creation, God has revealed much about his intended design for sexuality, as well as the risks of transgressing those norms. If you like what you've just seen and you want more, visit the Center for Christian Studies at christian-studies.org and check out the other video series we have there and subscribe to the Journal of Christian Studies. And if you have other topics you would like to suggest for our video series, contact us through the website or email us at info at christian-studies.org.